Robots Reborn. Mark Mack and his team are turning their superhero dreams into reality. They invented China's first 5G motion control humanoid in 2018, which can be used in rescue missions and dangerous factory operations, among many other scenarios. Growing up, I watched Japanese animations and developed a passion for robots. I wanted to make human noise that help people. We have worked with telecom companies on the Chinese mainland, and our products have been introduced across the country. We've also introduced them to many other nations through the Belt and Road Initiative. Much of Hong Kong's tech future is born out of the city's Science Park, or Cyberport. They provide companies with starting capital, access to investors, and swanky office space like this. This looks like a scene out of a sci-fi movie, but the robots here are all practical solutions with an impact on everyday life. This one, for example, is used in physiotherapy. We're teaching the robot to perform delicate tasks so that a therapist can complete a 40-minute treatment through remote control. This will massively reduce the pressure on frontline staff in our nursing homes. It's still in development stage, but we hope to take it to market in the future. To make high-tech visions a commercial reality, Hong Kong is looking across its northern border. So we Hong Kong is very strong in basic research, and we have the financial expertise to help companies scale up. But commercializing our research is where we fall short. We need customer base and high-end production capabilities. Cities in the Greater Bay Area like Dongguan, Shenzhen and Guangzhou are much stronger in those aspects. That's why we need to work together to turn our scientific research into marketable products. Ruban has saved costs by sourcing components from Guangdong's Jiangmen City. Mark's newer prototypes have received many inquiries, and he hopes to answer them in person once borders are open. He's confident the next generation humanoids will have plenty of room to make a difference.